with Empower Seattle, and we want to see a thriving nonprofit sector where all organizations can use technology to help create vibrant and healthy communities. Our mission is to help nonprofit organizations use technology to better serve their communities. And we have three stories we'd like to share with you of organizations that are using technology in innovative ways to expand the reach and impact that they have in our community. Delridge Neighborhoods Development Association. Housing Resources Group. Single to Mother. Well, I developed Single to Mother. It's for single mothers to come together for networking and resource sharing to empower one another to succeed in positive parenting, personal success, and life balance. I became a single mother and found that there wasn't a lot of resources available to address just the average single mom. And actually in the state of Washington, there are almost a half a million single parents. I expected some of the obvious challenges as far as finances and stuff like that, but I didn't expect this. <laughs> actually, I put a posting on Craigslist and had 16 moms respond in four days. I thought 16 was a lot, and then now it's 230, so. There was a posting on Craigslist some time ago about a single mother organization group that was meeting. I've actually been looking to get connected with other single mothers for quite some time, just because there's just a whole different sort of problems and issues that you can relate to. There's no way I could could do this at all without having the Yahoo groups. Um, an email is so much easier to think a whole thought all the way through. Single moms don't have just an opportunity to be like, okay, at this time I can do this and at this time I can do that. And that's what's great about using the Yahoo group really is because you can connect with the group at any point. Yes, love. Can connect at any point, and the great thing with with email is you can return to it. So I can be dis distracted, and I can't have a full conversation, as we can see. And so most of the time, I talk with them online, and we chat and things like that. And it's important, I think, to be connected with families that share similar struggles and delights and happiness that you do. It's really what you know, single to mother is about building the spirit back up and making sure that moms aren't feeling alone. The Delridge Neighborhoods Development Association is a nonprofit community development organization. We engage uh, the whole Delridge community in creating a thriving Delridge. Um, we do that by creating affordable housing for low income families. We build community facilities. The Delridge neighborhood is traditionally home to uh, many low-income families, a lot of families struggling with poverty. We, we have found that uh, technology is huge, particularly for the younger generation. Here at Croft Place, we have a technology lab with three computer workstations. We also are creating a Wi-Fi network for the entire courtyard here. At the Youngstown Cultural Arts Center, we're doing so much more with technology. Okay, well, we'll start over here. This room here is our recording studio, or at least the engineering room portion of the recording studio. Right now, three days a week, there's audio production classes in here, so the kids can all learn hands-on audio recording with mics and software. The, the third project where we're stepping up the integration of technology with affordable housing is at the West Seattle Community Resource Center. This is a project that has 34 apartments on top of 10,000 square feet of social service space. So on the ground floor, we'll have computer workstations, we'll have a Wi-Fi network for the, for the entire building, and then we're gonna have a youth training program to teach the young people who live in the building to troubleshoot the computer network. And then finally, we have computer vouchers for all of the families to purchase their own computers. The kids that have access to computers after school when they get home, there's a huge advantage. So uh, in many of the affordable housing projects that we've created, we've really stepped up our integration of computers and technology into the affordable housing. Housing Resources Group develops and manages uh, affordable apartments for folks in the Seattle area and in King County. 
We own about 27 apartment buildings. Our housing, we call it workforce housing. It's by and large people who provide the workforce that make the city run. I've been with HRG, I've been at Cascade Court for two years. It's very convenient. Convenient for me, convenient for my son. Um, his school is real close by, so I don't have to drive outside the city limits to get to where I have to go. Homes right there, schools right there, works right there. I and my predecessors um, really had some challenges with our previous database. It was a, a custom uh, access database. It didn't give us all the information that we really needed in order to run the organization efficiently. Now, there were no real-time reports, and it was basically just historical. By the time the data was actually entered, especially if it was all corrected, um, it wasn't timely. And now we have this property management software that worked pretty well for us. We got all the data in there. And, but we found ourselves we're still using paper. The company that we bought the package from uh, also does custom reporting, but since we're a nonprofit and we didn't want to spend a lot of money, we didn't want the entire package and we didn't want to pay the money that they would charge us to do custom reports. So we uh, worked with a, another SQL programmer and now with NPower uh, to sort of do it to just meet our needs. But now. All of our staff out in the field in all our 27 buildings can look and see what the apartment availability is at any building that we operate. And then we also have a link where anyone who's interested in living with us can go to our website and it will draw on that database and let them know what we currently have available. The website was more efficient for me. It was more, I was able to access it faster. They had what I was looking for when I did the search. I didn't want to live outside of central Seattle. I wanted something close to work where I could actually walk to work or get on one bus. And Cascade Court was actually on the bus line to my job, but I could actually walk from Cascade Court to work. I just have to say, I think it's great for our potential residents. It's been great for us to make sure that we're able to provide apartments to people who really need them. It's been a pleasant experience. Um, Thank you. <laughs>